Hello, it's Darren from innovationtraining.org. Would like to show you a little bit of Fig Jam from Figma and their AI feature. I'm going to move my face out of the way. Here's what I like about it. As soon as you open up a blank whiteboard and Fig Jam, Figma has free plans, right, to get started with a few boards. It gives you this AI feature. Let's make a, you know, right over here. So let's click, right? Let's, let's do something. Let's make a, okay. You know, I'm, I like idea generation, testing on all these tools for brainstorming. So we'll click brainstorm and okay. I like it. It gives you the selections. It helps you think of what direction to go in. Okay. I could use an icebreaker activity, we'll say. So I'll click here, add an icebreaker and uh, let's also add next steps, right? So we're going to have a brainstorm with an icebreaker and next steps. Let's see what it creates for us. So I'm going to hit the generate button. So it's working. Fig Jams from Figma, right? A really popular design tool. So things look quite beautiful on the whiteboard. And wow, so this was very interesting. It's creating kind of the session, the brainstorming session that I would lead, right? And it's designed beautifully. You know, in the past, I used to make all my whiteboards, have to put in the boxes and the frames. Here, it's done it. Okay, their suggestion is share your favorite book. Okay, add it to a post-it note, a free association idea generation activity. Okay, they know we're, we're having a brainstorm and we need an icebreaker as a part of it, right? And it's giving us some templates almost to do that. Prioritization, okay, it knows the basics of what makes a good brainstorming session. We just don't end with a bunch of ideas. We may prioritize based on some criteria. What would work for us? High priority, medium, low, okay, it's got an activity. Oh, now it's getting to good. We know we're about action too, right? We're not just about identifying the best ideas, but what action could we take? So it's got a really beautifully designed box here for next steps giving us the status, the task, the assignee, the due date. All right, that's really neat, right? So, so this whole session, this design for a brainstorming session that I could facilitate, I could lead a group through this on Fig Jam, essentially was just whipped up with their AI tool. So this is almost the universal symbol for AI whenever I see those stars, right? So I'm gonna click that again and uh, play around with it some more, okay. Here, we've done brainstorm. Team retrospective, that's really popular in the agile world. A reflection on our project, we'll say. Let's click on the team retrospective, see what it gives. Okay. Whoop, there we go. It just generated it right on the whiteboard, right? Another beautifully designed, I love that font too, right? Brainstorm the new strategies. What should we stop doing? Brainstorming, okay, or continue doing, right? So it's giving us start doing stop doing continue doing and using some of its tried and true methods like a prioritizing brainstorming session to see what we should be doing so there we go so just based on the ai tool it gave me some th ideas of what i might need for my team i need a brainstorming session with a icebreaker that has next steps i need a retrospective it's laid them out on the whiteboard so now i all i need to do is just invite people to uh, participate in this. And there are some other uh, tools that they have. So if I'm gonna scroll around here, let's say we were going to actually do a, a session, right? What are the, uh, oh, let's try it. What should we, we start doing, right? Brainstorm new strategies. Okay, uh, let's say uh, learn how to use AI tools for our work. Let's um, experiment with chat GPT to develop ideas and um, use Fig Jam to bring the team together to develop the ideas, right? And, uh, you know, let's, let's see what else we can do here, right? So there's always something that you can do, you know, on the whiteboards. I love to copy and paste. That's one of my Techniques is I grab a note, copy and paste it over so I could develop that a little bit more. I'll say uh, learn mind mapping on a whiteboard. There's a lot of great whiteboard tools in addition to Fig Jam, Miro, you probably have heard of, M I R O, Lucid Spark, Miro, M U R O A L, and uh, one more um, design our team's story on the whiteboard.
So there we go. I'm just throwing down some random ideas for maybe these are strategies for what we need to learn. That might be our, our question here. So let's see here. I'm going to just take a look at these, highlight these. And whenever you highlight something on a whiteboard, you usually get this AI option now, FigGem AI. Let's check. Okay, we can sort the stickies. We can summarize them. I'd like to see a summary. What is the theme of this? So let's click that summary button. Okay, there we go. So it's bringing in the summary of these five ideas, you know, summarizing them on one sheet. I don't know if it's really giving me the big theme of the synthesis of them, but it's, I like how it's laying it out here. I love the design of this old printer paper uh, and showing all the, the ideas right there. So I kind of like that. That's kind of neat. That's something different. Didn't really expect that. Let's highlight these five ideas again. Let's hit the AI button. Let's do sort stickies, sorting it out. So this is what I like about this tool as I'm using it. It actually brings me over and shows me where the AI is producing the results. So it based, you know, gave me some categories, exploring AI tools, each one of these. I'd get a lot better results if I had more ideas, right? It'd be easier to identify the themes. Um, but just giving you a really quick demo of FigJam and uh, using AI for a, kind of a purpose of a brainstorming session, we'll say, and seeing what it can do with summarizing ideas, sorting them, could be anything. But the thing that I really like that it's doing is providing me a template for what is the activity, what is the meeting, what is the session I could do with my team. So hopefully you've picked up a little, try, try your own approach for this. Get a FigJam uh, account, they're free to get started. And then also experiment with other whiteboard tools too, like Miro, like LucidSpark, that also have AI features and compare and contrast and see what you can do. So it's been Darren from innovationtraining.org.